The special forces were suddenly given an urgent mission, as unidentified creatures appeared in the woods, and were approaching them at 100 yards. All the soldiers were assembled urgently. Even the six tip kindling was ready and turned on auto burst mode. The captain put on his night vision goggles to check it out, only to realize that the woods were silent, which was especially scary in the dark. So the soldiers had to carefully wait for the monster on the periphery of the base. Unexpectedly the next second, After a whole night of fierce and vicious fighting, no one expected the monster to be a bear. The horrible thing is that the periphery of the base is crowed with the corpses of the bears. It turns out that all this is closely related to a person. He was seen slowly removing his mask and revealing his true colors, which instantly scared the man into freezing in place for five minutes. Then the military, Bigwick saw the strange man and quickly drew their guns in demonstration and signaled the soldiers to arrest him. But to his surprise, the soldiers surrounded him, and not only did he not put up any resistance, but he also comfortably closed his eyes and rested his mind. However, all the soldiers aimed their guns at the big man, and what was even more frightening, was that the man on the opposite side had turned into his own likeness. The special forces base was attacked by tens of thousands of bears, and hundreds of soldiers were all sacrificed overnight. The army immediately sends a team of people to investigate the truth of the accident, they arrived only to find that the entire floor was strangely asleep. There were no injuries on them either, and just then they saw someone jumping out of the third floor, and the military decisively grabbed their sprays and shot down below. But they didn't realize that the man was like a himanong, and they couldn't hit him. And just as everyone blinked, a large wave of people approached them with weapons, and were out putting wildly at them. It turns out that all this is because the aliens want to destroy the Earth. And this alien, Jake, claimed that he wanted to save humanity, just saw him put his hand on the guy's head, and the next second, the guy experiences the awesome electric shock for free and senses another alien. Jake takes one look and knows the place and they find the alien. The once in a century alien fight is staged, and just as it's getting heated, the alien wanders off and Jake takes the opportunity to land an unbeatable combo. The aliens received a free box lunch, but they didn't realize that Jake doesn't speak martial arts. alien takes the form of an officer who turns into Jake the alien. Jake tells him that he is the savior of mankind, but it turns out that this is Jake's plot to use mankind to get rid of his own threat and become the sole ruler of Earth. Learning that he is being used as a knife, the boy decisively picks up the knife and rushes at Jake, but once again changes places with the officers. The officers takes the box with a grudge and is turned into the soldier's chief after being shot several times by the soldier. The team watches them stick together and pounces Jake right off the building. Sure enough all bad guys die from talking too much. Suddenly an alien ship lands on the ground and the trio freezes. It has densely packed dormant pods with aliens inside each one. They start destroying the conveyor belt, but at the critical moment a Madonna appears. She can't bear to do anything to children. The soldiers rush to destroy the conveyor belt and block the Madonna. Countless children aliens walk out and the three gawk at the site. The movie ends just moments after the soldiers drop their guns.